Every year on Football Manager, fans are desperate to see who the hottest wonder kids are in the game. Here's what's happened to five of Football Manager's greatest wonder kids. Freddie Adu, the American star, must have been signed by every player on FM at least once, surely. Once touted as the American Pele, Freddie Adu set the world alight at the age of 15, both in Football Manager, where Freddie would win you every accolade under the sun as your attacking powerhouse, and in real life with teams across the globe looking to bring Adu in. Freddie went off to Europe in search of a contract, and while a Manchester United trial took place, it was Portuguese giants Benfica who snapped him up in 2007, as FM fans across the globe declared, Are you ready Europe? Well, unfortunately, it didn't quite work out like FM predicted. Freddie Adu bizarrely hasn't won every major competition in the world, and at just 26, he's gone on to represent 13 different clubs from USA, Portugal, France, Greece, Turkey, Brazil, Serbia and Finland and even found time to promote some nightclubs on the side. Now at Tampa Bay Rowdies, Adu himself admits he has wasted his talents, claiming, you can say, oh, I had a lot too early, or say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, we all need to grow up at some point. Well, this is awkward. Does that mean we have to stop playing football manager, Freddy? Maxim Sigalko. This Belarusian goal-getter, Maxim Sigalko, has long been regarded as possibly the best ever player in the franchise's lifetime. Many a day in the Copa 90 office have been spent reminiscing about Sigalko's virtual achievements in the early editions. While you struggled to sign him for the Premier League, as he failed work permit appeals, if you played elsewhere, he was a must. There is no championship manager case study where Sigalko didn't finish a season with more goals than he played games. Sigalko went on to represent his country during a career which started alongside his twin brother Yuri at Dinamo Minsk. After unsuccessful spells in Kazakhstan and Armenia, he returned to Belarus with Savit Mogilev, where he played eight times before he was released, the club relegated and resolved. Not a good few months. Sigalko finished his career with just 59 goals, which, quite frankly, would have been a disappointing season total for him in the game. Sigalko will always be affectionately known as the 100 goal a season striker. Andre Sigtorsson. Long before Viking claps and England capitulations, Iceland had already won the hearts of the football world for one man, Andre Sigtorsson. The brother of Iceland's Euro 2016 star Kolbein was an absolute goal machine in Championship Manager 3. With his potential set to the maximum, Andre were banging goal after goal and hat-trick after hat-trick. After joining Bayern as a 16-year-old, expectations were very high for Andre, but after struggling to break through, Sigtorsson plied his trade in Iceland, Austria and finally Norway where a knee injury sadly cut his career short at just 27. Andre stayed in mould following his retirement to launch a bakery called Braud Ogbola. Cherno Samba. If you never played Championship Manager 0102, you might have no idea who this guy is. And if you did, he's basically a footballing god. The Millwall youth product could get picked up for next to nothing in the early editions and would inevitably be a world beater. The early days for Samba suggested his virtual appearance was justified. As a 13-year-old, he scored 132 goals in 32 games for St Joseph's Academy football team in Blackheath. His prolific goal-scoring form continued as a youngster after joining Millwall's Academy, but after a £2 million offer from Liverpool was rejected, his big move never materialised. After moving to Cadiz from Millwall, Samba became a journeyman of Europe's smaller leagues, spending time in Greece, Finland and Norway. While he might not be as well known for his real life career, Cherno Samba did, however, manage to use his championship manager fame to get a new phone from his network provider. Samba relayed the story saying, I rang them up to get it ordered and was told to wait two to three months for it to arrive. And I thought, no problem. The guy then asked my name and I said, Cherno Samba. With surprise, he asked, the one from championship manager? You'll get it the next day. Championship Manager 04 was the first introduction of a Portuguese winger from Sporting who was expected to set the world alight. And no, it wasn't Cristiano. It was Fabio Paim. The wonder kid was just 13 at the time and could be snapped up for just 300 grand compensation. Fabio Paim's reputation as a youngster was incomparable to anyone other than Freddie Adu. So much so that when leaving Sporting for Manchester United, Cristiano Ronaldo himself declared, if you think I'm good, just wait until you see Fabio Paine. Well, we waited, Cristiano. The signs were that he was on his way to the top, and Paine earned himself a loan move to Chelsea in 2008, 
but his reserve appearance failed to earn him a permanent move, and by 2010, without a single first-team appearance, Paim left Sporting Lisbon and found himself in the lower leagues in Portugal. And, after accusations of huge wage demands and struggling with weight problems, Paim just hasn't found his football home. Now 28, Fabio Paim has had struggling spells in Qatar, Malta, Lithuania and most recently Luxembourg, where he was dismissed by Union 05 Carl Tetange just two months after joining due to his unprofessional behaviour. So yeah, we're still waiting Cristiano. So, who was your favourite football manager wonder kid? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.